Let's focus in on the verb estar. And estar is one of our two verbs that we have in Spanish, which mean to be. So we have ser and we have a star, and we use them each in specific instances. There's another video talking about the differences between the two. All we're going to talk about today is how to conjugate or how to form a star. All right, to be, that's the definition or the infinitive, the translation of a star. And if we think back to our days in English class, right, maybe like seventh or eighth grade, you had to memorize stuff like am, is, are, was, were, have, been, been. Well, that's the verb to be. And what does it sound like in English? It sounds like I am, you are, we are, they are. Or we could invert it and make questions out of it. And the reason that we have to look at a star specifically is that it's irregular. And that means it doesn't follow a pattern. But today, we're only going to look at the verb estar in the present tense, right? What we have over here, I am, you are. So we're going to go over to our box of six. And if you need a refresher of your box of six, you can search for box of six. Or you can search for um, your subject pronouns. So today, we're just going to put this in here. So to conjugate the verb is star, and to conjugate means to take our infinitive, which has no person to be, and change it to I am. Estoy. Estás with an accent. Está, again with an accent. Estáis, accent, están. The one question that you've probably had, and maybe if you've never studied Spanish before, have heard, is como estás? How are you? So this verb comes from estar, and we know this means are you, and you would say estoy. I don't know. I think I'm I think I'm good today. Estoy bien. I'm well. Or we could say Como está? But this one is a little difficult because if we look down here in our box of 3, that is está could mean how is he, how is she, or how is usted? And so this would be a moment when we would want to use our subject pronoun, el, ella, usted, etc., to clarify who we're talking about. So let's put in, como esta ella? So how is she doing today? And we could say, ella está enferma. Oh, not feeling so hot today. All right, now there are lots of ways to use the verb estar. We're going to get to that in a different video. What we want to make sure today is that you know how to take your box of six and conjugate or form or change is another word to say estar to estoy estas estas estamos tais están. Don't forget your four accents. You need those accents. They're really important. Memorize this. Try it. Practice it. Let me know how it goes. Suerte.